What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, we're going to be going over some crazy things that were happening in the market today. Some 800% increases, a little bit of the things that are going on with AMC and some of the trades that our members have been taking uh, and just kind of going over how you guys can do that for yourself. So if you guys are interested in this, make sure you guys go down and hit that like button on this video. Comment down below if you guys made any crazy gains today on any of these plays um, and subscribe for more videos like this. But let's get right into it here. We have a lot to cover and a lot of information so that we can help you guys make a little bit more money in your trading so when we come over here we're looking at the chart of amc right now now when you look at today here you see this nice 1348 cross up you get this call signal printing right here the blue line crossing above the red 48 line and you see a nice solid increase right here of about let's just say uh 2.62 percent in stock Pretty significant increase, especially if you are trading some of these weekly options. Now, some of the things that people have been doing, though, have been looking at AMC on the longer time frames. Now, when we've looked at AMC in the past, you guys have heard it a lot in my other videos, that this four-hour time frame is critically important in determining where the stock is going to go over the next couple of weeks. When we got this cross-up signal, I tweeted this out a few times, um, but right here, we have AMC having this resistance level right at around $18.37. But you have this cross up signal down here. And if you got in on this candle just in stock, let's see what this move is actually at right now. About 20% move ahead of AMC's earnings uh, in just stock. Now, at the time that I'm recording this video, it's actually before earnings. Um, so we're probably going to end up making a complete different video on the actual earnings report. But again, I just kind of want to go over the strategy with you guys because as you can see here, 1348 is going to paint a really solid picture of where stocks are going to head, especially if you are day trading, swing trading, or even if you just want to day trade shares. Now, you may not want to do that on AMC, but let's Let's take a look at some of these gains of our members before we get into the other stocks here. So if we look at this picture right here, we have 100% on AMC here, 143%, 91%, 106%, 247%. 100%. Nice little base hit here of about 8.28% uh, and 172.5% right here. And that's all by just following the rules that we've outlined here with these crosses coming back to the upside. We've seen it happen many, many, many times, specifically on these longer time frames. Now, you see here this last cross up signal, these closing candles above the 200 EMA. When we take a look over here and actually do another one of these ruler measurements at what percentage this gain actually was, well, this is a 31% move in stock. If you are holding options through any of these time periods, you are making a killing. Now, this was on some of the longer time frames, and that's more geared towards some of those individuals uh, that are trading with a nine to five that can't necessarily sit there at the charts all day long. But there was an opportunity today that we called out in the private live streams that a lot of people were really, really printing on, including myself. If you guys looked at the tweets that I put out, a uh, nice little 60 something percent gain on this trade that we're going to look at right now, and it's AMD. Now, again, guys, this isn't some sort of magical wizardry on the charts. What we teach you guys to do is essentially be able to read these charts for yourselves. So when we look at AMD right here, what we see during the beginning of the day here is this cross up signal right at open. The 13, the blue line comes above the 48 here and we start to see price action head to the upside. AMD today is up about 5.96% at the current time that I'm recording this video. Now, when we're looking at this trade right here, there are a couple of very, very key things that you guys need to keep in mind because if you go and look at actually AMC's op or AMD's option chain right here, these contracts are up over seven, eight hundred percent today. That is some very, very, very significant gains. That means that if you put about a thousand dollars into these options contracts, it's turning into seven, eight, nine thousand dollars. That's not a bad day at all. And at the end of the day, we are all really trying to help retail investors just make money in the market because that is what we are all here to do. There is no reason why you guys that are watching this video right now could not have seen some of these trades and taken them for yourself. But I want to go over some things on this AMD chart here uh, that would have allowed you to fully capitalize on this move. Now, some of the rules that we talk about in our group, and again, guys, it's over 55 private live streams a month, uh, all of the learning curriculum videos, the trading algorithms, 
you guys know the deal by now. If you're interested, check out that link down below. But in order to fully stay in this trade till right around here, there are a couple of key things that you need to realize. Now, this kind of goes along with what I like to call the rim strategy uh, or what we like to call the rim strategy. So what you're looking at here is the key level of resistance on AMD right around 100. So if you didn't want to trade before 10 a.m., you could have waited until around here after this cross up signal. You see the momentum is continuing and then the stock starts to continue higher. Now you start to see price action come up, but then it drops significantly. What do you do then? Well, what you're looking for here is for price to establish a trend and use a dynamic level of support or resistance and come and respect one of those levels. In this case, this is going to be the five minute 13 EMA. Now, as we follow price action up here, we see it test, make a new high, test, new high, comes down and tests a little bit here, gets kind of close and then makes a new high. But none of these times have we seen a candle close or open below this 13 exponential moving average, then that tells you that the trend is most likely going to continue in the direction it was already going. Now, when we get up to here, you start to see price action start to fall down a little bit. Now, again, with the trend that we've established in the past, well, it could come down, kiss this 13 EMA and come up and make a new high, but that's not necessarily what it did. It closed down below, came down, made a more recent low here before it started trending back to the upside, but never quite came up to that new high. Now, what I personally would have done here is taken my gains as this candle closes down below the 13 EMA, because at that point, well, you kind of have a better understanding that the trend could be changing on you. Now, let's just say that we were trading very conservatively here. What would be the percentage move in the stock that we are actually looking at on AMD here? So let's say we get on in this candle and we ride it all the way up to here, 2.84% in stock. On a stock that's really not supposed to move all this much during the day. Now, if you rode this all the way up to the top and ended up top taking it, there's an extra 2% on there with about 4.21% total move. Now, if you wanted to get a little bit risky here and really trade this right at the opening cross when it comes over uh, the previous pre-market high, let's see what that would have been here for you guys too. But again, this is just the moves in stock, not even options, 5.85%. Guys, there is so much money to be made out there in the market right now, and I believe that you're doing a disservice to yourself if you're not going out there and really taking advantage of it. Um, that's kind of where our group in 1348 really came about, is trying to give retail investors the tools uh, to actually really Really succeed in the market. We've been doing this for about six months. Our members and our results really speak for themselves at this point. Uh, you, you see all the people in our live chats every single day just, just showing you guys just how successful this is. And again, a lot of these people six months ago didn't really know how to trade. They came in, learned the strategy, watched the curriculum videos, came to the live streams, and now they're able to spot plays like this and make one, two, three, four hundred percent in a day by just following the rules on the way up. Now, again, when we like to talk about kind of looking at when to kind of exit, a lot of the time, I think a lot of people are gonna see some of this video and say, well, the rules may not necessarily suggest holding this long, but what you have to understand is that yes, base hits are going to be what is going to take your portfolio to the next level and really put the power of compound interest on your side. But when we go back to what we were talking about with price action respecting this 13 EMA on the way up, this gives you the ability to stay in the trade. Now, we're going to have a video coming out for you guys soon on the make it free strategy, which would have really benefited you guys today on AMD. But again, stay tuned for that video a little bit later. And that is kind of going to wrap up this one, guys. So if you did enjoy the information and analysis that I provided for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people who want to learn and really forming this army of retail investors who have been classically labeled as dumb money, showing all of these smart money institutions that retail investors aren't all that stupid. So guys, that is going to wrap it up for this one. Other than that, peace.